Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Well, red tide continues to ravage Pinellas County beaches. We know it's irritating humans and killing fish, but it's also taking a toll on other animals as well. News Channel 8's Olivia Steen joins us live from the Seaside Seabird Sanctuary in Indian Shores. We've talked a lot about the fish. I mean, it only stands to reason that birds would have a problem too. That's right. The sanctuary is actually housing around 100 birds that are sick because of red tide, and they're trying their best to nurse them back to health. Red tide impacts all of the ecosystem. And we're having these blooms such in close proximity to each other. We're not giving those pop fish populations enough time to recover, and that is going to affect all of the wildlife that depend on that food source. Like seabirds, many are eating the contaminated dead fish, causing them to also get sick. But that's where Seaside Seabird Sanctuary swoops in to save the day. Concerned people either call our rescue line and we'll dispatch our rescue volunteers to get the injured birds or people will directly bring them here to the hospital. Melissa Edwards is the avian hospital director. She says it's easy to spot an infected bird. And it can cause kind of paralysis almost so they're not able to walk, not able to stand. Sometimes the early symptoms, you'll see them kind of face planting and just looking almost drunk, stumbling around. And then it can lead to them not being able to even swallow, blink their eyes. Edwards tells me they give the birds fluids paired with medications to flush out the toxins. It usually takes them seven days to get better. A lot of times within the first 24 hours, if they make that 24 hours, they do make a full recovery. Staff are stretched thin because of the influx of sick birds, but it isn't as bad as 2018's red tide impact. Um, we did get like 60 red knots all within one weekend due to red tide. So that was, you know, a lot of, of you know, stress in our hospital. We had one in November we had gotten, I believe, it was 200 cormorants in not even a month. They're hoping they don't, but Edward says it's still very possible. Now, some of the birds you see here live here full time, but there are others just waiting to be re released. And the sanctuary says they're going to hold off on that until beach conditions get better. Live in Pinellas County, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side.